viewers, the queue extended as far as the eye could see. Hundreds of thousands of ardent devotees have gathered in Ayodhya anxious to catch a glimpse of their Ram, their Prabhu. Only a day earlier, their idol had been finally reinstated in his own birthplace, reversing the cause of a painful 500-year-old history. The devout waited patiently, happy to brave the elements. The biting pre-dawn cold as the sun climbed higher into the horizon to bless the birth of a new age. An age marked by beneficence, tolerance and justice. Virtues that Prime Minister Modi had declared in a poignant speech are to now epitomize the Indian state, taking inspiration from the Maryada of the ideal Purushottam. We are told that never has Ayodhya seen an invasion of Astha of this magnitude. Not even at the height of the Ram Janam Bhumi movement. Look at those pictures, viewers, in the middle of your screens. Millions, millions gathered, perhaps only for a 30-second darshan, a glimpse. The Prime Minister had perhaps anticipated this unprecedented show of devotion. After all, he had made it a point to tell us that each one of us, irrespective of caste and creed, can identify himself with Ram's story and his moral dilemmas. This universal appeal means that the Lord transcends all divides across humanity. He is the veritable Sapke Ram. Ram Bharat ka vichar hai. Ram Bharat ka vidhan hai. Ram Bharat ki chetna hai. Ram Bharat ka chintan hai. Ram Bharat ki pratishta hai. Ram Bharat ka pratab hai. Ram Prabha hai. Ram Prabha hai. राम नीति भी है राम नीति भी है राम नित्यता भी है राम निरंतरता भी है राम विभु है विशद है राम व्यापक है विश्व है विश्वात्मा है Unfortunately, despite everyday Bharatiyas from every walk of life, from every ideological persuasion, queuing up for a darshan, Certain sections of the ideological left in India continue to insist that the Lord Ram in residence at Ayodhya is but only a political prop. A symbol not of piety and spirituality, but one exclusively of provocation and sorcery in the hands of the BJP to seduce voters ahead of the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Listen to Congress Party leader and Chief Minister of Karnataka, Siddharamaya, as he vows never to worship, as he calls him, the BJP's Ram. Ramayana Dalu, Obre Sri Ram Chandra, Obre Lakshmana, Obre Sita Devi, Obre Anjaneya. Congress Puksha, Mahatma Gandhi Jeev Ramunna Pooja Shri. BJP Ramun Pooja Shri. The Congress's BJP's Ram jibe doesn't only undermine the significance of the Pran Pratishtha, but it also questions, many are saying, the bona fides of the devotees themselves. It is almost as if for the Congress, every pilgrimage and every pilgrim to Ayodhya is not a Ram Bhakt, but a BJP Bhakt ready to play his part in worshipping a false god. That's what the BJP has been saying, viewers, all day today. Nothing, however, could be further from the truth. Instead, the devotees talk of the sacrifices they made to be in Ayodhya and the deeply spiritual motivations that drew them here. Some viewers are just plain happy to be at the feet of their Lord. Everybody wants to just visit the temple, see the Ram Mandir, uh, but you can see how the crowd here is. Uh, they, they don't want to wait and uh, there's a whole lot of chaotic situation right now. Uh, there is a heavy deployment over there of the uh, personals, but uh, they are not able to manage this much of crowd. All the bhaks over there, they really want to go inside and visit the Ram Temple. There are so many people who still are chanting 
राम नाम बड़े दर्शन अच्छे हुए दर्शन कितनी देर कितनी देर प्रतिमा के सामने खड़े रहे आइडल के सामने खड़े रहे मैं तो दर्शन किया उसके बाद पीछे चेयर रख के दो मिनट दर्शन किया चार ऊपर चढ़ के मैंने दर्शन किया शांति से आगे जा नहीं सकते नहीं थोड़ा देर रोकने का मौका दे रहे हैं वहाँ रोकने का मौका दे रहे प्रशासन से योग कर रहे आर ऑल फ्रॉम चेन्नई तमिलनाडु एंड एक्सपीरियंस इज जस्ट टू कैनॉट बी डी कोटेड और एक्सप्रेस थ्रू दी वर्ड बिकॉज It's purely goosebumps and the devotion, the bhakti, and the way that it was organized by the entire uh, government and the local police. It was amazing experience. As I told, uh, we have been there for last four days, where we have been reciting the Ayu uh, Arpa Sarvam, the Divya Prabandham, mm -hmm. uh, at the Sugriva Kila Temple, which is just 100 meters from the uh, yes. new temple. Uh, overall, the experience was uh, it was an amazing experience. An amazing experience. they are telling you about their motivations to allege that the ram who has returned to ayodhya is an allegedly vengeful bjp god installed to mark the rise of hindu exceptionalism and hindutva triumphalism is to ignore some facts viewers and i always bring you the hard facts so you can get closer to the truth so you can cut through some of the misinformation i'm not calling it disinformation i'm only calling it misinformation in the hope that those who are spreading it correct themselves viewers while the event is undeniably rich in political symbolism there is also no doubt that it is consecrating some higher ideals the mandir ram lalla's idol and the yajmans in attendant are not merely mortar and flesh they have been assembled keeping in mind essential values Let me run you through some of these values viewers. One is inclusiveness. Why am I saying that? Because viewers, it's not just a temple built to pay homage to Ram Lalla, but it will also house the idols, the images of deities and venerated figures from India's Hindu mythology. viewers we are talking about jatayu shabrima valmiki parshuram why viewers because they represent a number of sampradays a number of different denominations and each one of these denominations viewers can then feed into the mainstream feel connected to the mainstream The Prime Minister, before the Pran Pratishtha, released a set of six stamps that commemorated Kevat Raj and also Masha Breviewers and several others, Jatayu, several others who are worshipped by many across the length or breadth of India and are connected intrinsically to Lord Ram. That is why I spoke about inclusivity. It also, viewers, is an embodiment. the temple superstructure is an embodiment of our territorial integrity soil building material has been brought to construct the edifice from 10 or more states the wood has been sourced from pretty much every major state of the country ram unifies bharat territorially viewers the yajmans in the ultimate ode to inclusiveness belong to different castes different regions of india the 14 couples all of them were there in the garbh griha in the sanctum sanctorum viewers not only in spirit but in brick and mortar this structure is an edifice to sabka bharat and therefore viewers it is a little sad to constantly hear big important politicians from the opposition constantly politicizing this great sea of devotion viewers 
that we are witnessing today. And let's open this up because the fundamental question that pops into our mind is that is the opposition so today overwhelmed by its own partisan outlook that it has become disconnected from the larger pulse of devotion, genuine devotion that is flowing towards the Lord. Let's ask that fundamental question, viewers, tonight. I want to begin by putting this question to Sanjay Jha and I want to bring in Sanju Varma right at the top. Sanjay Jha, has the Indi Alliance or India block misread Bharat's mood? This kind of, this kind of unprecedented show of devotion, of love, ardency towards Lord Ram cannot be orchestrated. You missed out once before, are you missing out once again? Because you're not being able to look or overlook your own hatred perhaps, your own sense of bitterness perhaps, I don't know what it is, against one man. Is that really what has taken hold today of the opposition? Sanjay Chha. Yeah, Rahul, uh, good evening. Uh, my short response to you in bullet points. Number one, the BJP or the RSS are not the custodians of Hinduism. They are the political custodians of the term Hindutva coined by Vinayak Damodar Savarkar. Hinduism is centuries old, a great religion. I'm part of it. Very eclectic, compassionate, un inclusive, universal. I don't think the BJP or the RSS are anywhere close to the original Hinduism, its tenets or its ethos. So I really, frankly, don't take the BJP and the RSS seriously at all. As far as the opposition is concerned, my point number two, they have been very categorical, Rahul, that we do not believe that this very sacred, pious, sacrosanct ceremony of the Pran Pratishta should have been converted into a political project by the BJP, which we believe is absolutely incongruous, if not altogether shameful. Point number three. Narendra Modi himself had to concede yesterday that when he thanked the judiciary is what I have been saying on your program and the opposition has been saying for a long time. He acknowledged the truth that the Ram Temple has happened because the Supreme Court took a unanimous decision. It has got nothing, zero to do with the BJP manifesto wanting to have a Ram Temple. By the way, the Congress had the Ram Temple in its 1991 manifesto. The Congress had a manifesto in 1991 that categorically said we'll have a Ram temple, but not at the cost of destroying the Babri Masjid. Hmm. The BJP did exactly that and we know how India has thereafter been splintered. Point number four, why was, if it is a religious function, hmm. why was, or rather why were the four Shankaracharyas, the true apostles, the seers of Hinduism, conspicuous by their absence? None of the four attended the Pran Patishta of Ram Lala. Can you imagine that? Point number five. The President of India, the Commander-in-Chief, the Head of State is not present on such a glorious occasion. What does it tell you about the respect that this government has for actually the people in our, in our society who matter? And there are many people who attended, by the way, who said that Mr. Modi and, you know, the, we saw some of the hoardings. I saw them on social media was, you know, was actually trying to overpower and overwhelm the bigger message of Ram Lalla. All subjective, you know that. Yeah, Whatever no, no. you're saying is all subjective. Let me get to the facts. No, that doesn't one matter. second, How one second. No, 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 Sanjay, it does matter. Sanjay Jha, it does matter. Mm -hmm. Subjectivity. I'm not done yet. I had to make no, one no, because, more point. Okay, no, one no, second, no, one second. Just, just one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Please, everyone, just take a deep breath. One second, I'll come out to you. No problems. We have enough time. Sanjay Jha, sure. I asked you a simple question. I didn't talk. I didn't ask about whether this was a political event. I concede it as much. There is political symbolism. Why are we running away from it? It was there when Rajiv Gandhi declared, as you've said, in your manifesto, in your political manifesto, yes. to make the Ram Mandir. Why grudge the mm -hmm. BJP the same? 
Number two, because, it was the one because Sanjay, it, 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 it Sanjay said Jha, God uh, let me finish, destroying please. the Babri Look, Let me, let, no, no one has said that, sir. Please, no one said that. Show me one statement where the BJP on record in any of its manifesto has said we will destroy the Babri Masjid. In fact, I have but the manifestos. That, right? 2019, they ended up doing 2019 uh, Sanjay Jha, can you show me one person who has gone to jail implicated in the demolition? I'm not saying here that you the demolition the didn't take place. Commission? Just one second. Just one second. I'm commission? talking about the verdict, sir. I'm talking BJP about the verdict because, be because Sanjay Jha, you have very little faith in commissions. Only the commissions that you set up are the ones that are gospel. Anyone else sets up a commission, you don't believe it because you believe that they're government directed. And we've seen that. The Supreme Court had told a bunch of people to leave the premises and not waste the time of the court by making all sorts of imputations against Mr. Adani. And go by what the commission has said. So one second, just a minute. I asked you a very simple question. All what mm -hmm. you're saying might be true. But why abuse, insult Lord Ram and call him BJP's Ram? If you say that BJP doesn't own anybody, neither does it own the temple, neither does it own Lord Ram, then why is your chief minister branding Ram Lalla as some BJP apart chick, as part okay, of the BJP's... General Secretary, Membership Committee, come on. Okay. Who yeah, are you abusing that. actually? Are you abusing that. Lord Ram or are you abusing the poor devotees who are going there to pay obeisance? Not to some false god. Why are you calling the Lord Ram Lalla who has come there, whose pratishtha has taken place uh, with so many luminaries there, etc. Mm -hmm. A BJP's false god. Can I answer your question? Yeah, please, very quickly. I want Mr. to bring up Sanjay Varma. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Siddharamaya is extremely clear. I think you got to look into what he's saying. He has the highest respects, as does the Congress Party. What and does I think it mean, sir? BJP is Ram. We can believe in Gandhi's Ram, not can BJP I, I, Ram. What does this speak? Ram be? How has it can got I anything to do with the BJP? Explain to me. Can I speak without your interruption? I'm, I, you know, I don't know why you interrupted me when I was in the middle of my flow. Here it is. Let me repeat that again. Mr. Siddharamaya's statement, I've heard it. He's talking about the fact nobody and including him, has ever been disrespectful about any religion. Mm. Forget Hinduism or Ram Lala at all. I see. What is he saying? He's saying, he's saying that Ram Rajya, he associates with Gandhiji. And as far as Ram Lala is concerned, <laughs> we all know that the teachings of Ram or the entire philosophy of Ram okay. is not what the BJP is following. Viewers, he truth. called it... He called the idol BJP's Ram. And when we are talking about disrespecting, about attending, when we are talking Gandhi about disrespecting, Gandhi let's go back Islam. into history a little bit. The Gandhi Congress Islam. party refused to even accept the existence of Lord Ram, in whose honor Sanjay Varma tells me, Sanjay, sorry, Jha tells me that they're going there, that their manifesto had declared that they were going to be setting up a temple. For, for what? A god the that BJP never exists. Said that, by the way, uh, do Sir, you know in that your, no, no, one second. I'm only bringing out facts. I'm not bringing out Sita rhetoric. These faith. are facts. The BJP in Parliament said that Goddess Sita was a matter of faith. There is no evidence. Why one second. Not Sanju Varma, please respond. Why, not please respond. why should we, why the should we today, that in why should the BJP today take offense from the fact that the ceremony that we witnessed the ceremony that we witnessed, according to the Congress, was to imbue life into BJP's Ram. <laughs> Why should we? Why should you the know, BJP? Uh, Rahul, it is 1.16 minutes into your uh, very engaging debate and I want my time to put forth my facts out there uh, for your audience. First and foremost, what is a uh, you know, which most of us are aware of. Shri Ram Chandra Kehgaye Siyase. ऐसा कलियो गाएगा हंस चुगेगा दाना दुनका कौआ मोती खाएगा बट कलियुग जो होना था वो यू नो वेन दी कांग्रेस वॉज इन पावर फॉर फाइव और सिक्स डिकेट वो कलियुग हम देख चुके हैं सिंस द स्टार्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेकेंड जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर अब राम राज्य स्थापित हो गया है एंड एंड यू वाई यू नो वी ऑल नो दिस इज अ फाइव हंड्रेड और फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड ईयर ओल्ड सिविलाइजेशनल बैटल Uh, so far, so good. Uh, the Supreme Court on the 9th of November 2019, which even Prime Minister Modi acknowledged, uh, you know, um, gave a unanimous verdict uh, in favor of the Ram Mandir. All that is kosher. But, 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 
I have no problems if somebody says this is BJP is Ram. But I have a problem if somebody says that Narendra Modi and the BJP have nothing to do with the Ram Mandir and the consecration ceremony on the 22nd of January and I'll tell you why. Point number one. For the longest time, BJP has been accused by no less than uh, you know, leaders from the Congress, including suspended leaders like Sanjay Jha, each time we brought up the issue of Ram Mandir, they said, Arey, ye toh BJP ka majoritarian agenda hai. Forget about the fact that it was in the 1989 Palampur resolution that BJP brought the Ram Mandir issue for the first time onto the national political landscape of our country. Forget about the fact that Ravi Shankar Prasad, who was then a union cabinet minister in the Modi government, fought on behalf of the Ram Mandir and Ram Lalla for the longest time. Forget about the fact that Kalyan Singh, the ex Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister of uh, BJP, lost his chief ministership simply because he chose to stand in solidarity with the uh, Kar Sevaks and Ram Bhats. Forget about the fact that the Congress went to the Supreme Court in 2007 saying, Mariada Ram is a figment of the imagination of the BJP and RSS. Forget about the fact that people like Shashi Tharoor have called Hindus as you know, a Hindu Taliban on the rise. Forget about the fact that the likes of B.K. Hari Prasad, a senior Congress leader from Karnataka, taking a pot shot at Hindus as Ram Bhatt uh, mm -hmm. said, you know, if Ram Mandir comes up, you will see a Godha-like situation panning out once again on the 22nd of January. And forget about the fact that the cooperation minister of uh, Karnataka, N.K. Ranjana, he actually made a very abhorrent and derogatory remark saying, those two idols are not Ram Lalla idols. You know, they were dolls inside the tent. But I want to ask one thing. Forget about all these facts which put Congress in a very, very unflattering light. It portrays it as Hindu phobic, uh, nothing more, nothing less. I want to ask one question. Why is it that if it is, you know, uh, Sabke Ram, if it is not BJP's Ram, why is it that the Congress leaders, be it Sonia Gandhi, Malikarjun Khadge or Adhiranjan Chaudhary, who were given a respectful invite, okay. declined the invite? Why is it that Priyanka Khadge, the son of Congress President Malikarjun Khadge, he actually endorsed Udhanevi Stalin's bigotry and said if Udhanevi Stalin has said that Sanatan Dharma is equal to dengue, malaria, AIDS, what have you, what is the big deal? He is only stating the oh, truth. Did Rahul Gandhi condemn it? No. So my limited point is this. Aapko Ram ke aadhar mein vishwas nahi hai. Aapko okay. Ram ki aastha mein vishwas nahi hai. You do not believe what Ram Rajya actually stands for, which is holistic living, which is about societal harmony, which is about communal harmony, which is about good governance. And we know that Congress has nothing to do with good governance. And last 30 seconds, we also know that when it comes to communal harmony, okay. the biggest riots in post-independent India, be it the Hashimpura riots of 1987, the Bhagalpur riots of 1989, the Aligarh riot of 2006, the Dhula riot of 2008, the Kokrajhar riot of 2012, the Bharatpur riots of 2011, or for that matter, the Muzaffarnagar riots of 2013. Okay. All so these riots happened under the incompetent nose of the Congress yeah, hang on. because Congress wanted to appease a certain vote bank okay. that is the radical Islamic vote okay. bank. Okay, so that's, 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 that's right. right. Okay, okay. okay. okay one second. Let me open this up. Let me open this up. Rahul, Let me I open this up. I need to because I got to leave at 7.30. No, no, one second, please. sir. One second, one second, one second, one second. Please, please, please. You Just gave me second. barely four Mr. minutes Mitra. for Aulshiv Shankar. Mr. Mitra, Mr. Mr. you made your point. A lot of was used and you could give a rejoinder. This suspended variety for at least 15 minutes. I got you barely said, four minutes. Yes, yes, don't worry. You said 30 seconds. I gave you those 30 seconds. Now, yeah, but I got in all just four, four minutes yeah. compared to the 15 minutes of gibberish that this Congress uh, suspended variety was spewing on your show. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's. That, look. The that fact the is, viewers would the fact is, dear, viewers, viewers one minute, one minute. Viewers, viewers, one second. Let me open this up. Abhijit Mitra is also there with us. And we also have Tosif Khan. Abhijit Ayer Mitra, look, yes, you can say that it was a political event. Yes, you can say that, look, a certain bunch of people, political party, call it what you want to, will derive some sort of electoral benefit, etc. But what does one mean when one steps up to the plate and says that this is a BJP's Ram? Who does this actually hold in contempt? 
you see, I don't think they hold it in contempt. Uh, the Congress, you see, they've internalized this completely Abrahamic mindset that needs a sacerdotal function. You know, ye, uh, ye asli hai, this is legit and this is takfir. You know, so uh, this person's Ram is legit for us. This person's interpretation of Ram is legit for us. This person's interpretation of Ram is illegit for us. You know, it, the, the whole point of the Bhakti movement was to overcome this kind of sacerdotalism. But the sacerdotalism has always suited the Congress because you see, since the beginning, uh, this lady had this Garibi Hatao campaign. She, in fact, worsened Garibi, you know. So they've always had this thing that they keep paying off these feudal lords. And feudal lords do very well under the Congress, while the common man always suffers. So this is Siddharamaya want wanting to go back into the same sort of interpretational straight jacket and prevent Hindus from thinking themselves. There is nothing you can do about it. This is the way the Congress thinks. This is the way the Congress's politics has always functioned throughout number one. That said, we should always give credit to the Congress, for not for the construction of uh, uh, the Ram Mandir, because that has happened entirely under the BJP. But I give them 100 percent, uh, well, 99 percent credit for the demolition of the Babri Masjid. Remember the locks opening that enabled the destruction happened under Rajiv Gandhi. Lies. And the actual uh, time it was now demolished happened. Don't encourage happened lies on your Haan. program. So he's yeah, very grateful to Sanjay Jha this for is you know, allow Please don't allow it. Sanjay Jha, there are book accounts about how P.V. Narsimha Rao looked the other way when he was getting half an hour every Sir, half there an hour are CPI chart sheet. You know, oh, there is, there you know is material that has been, there has been Eight material the that, commission. sir, the entire Don't commis allow this the commission, the commission that, the commission that, the commission, 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 Yes or no? I mean, you are allowing this man to Wasn't utter all Okay, false let me bring in. Let me, okay. One second. Tosif Khan. Tosif Khan. One second. One second. One second. One second. Let me bring him in. But one second. Yes, Ayurmita, you wanted to finish your point. You were rudely interrupted. Yes, make your, finish your point. Oh, that's fake news, yeah. ladies and gentlemen who are watching the program. Right. Sanjay Jha, you are the biggest peddler of fake news. Your own party does not take you seriously. No, 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 one second, one second. Just Sanjay a minute, no, no, just a minute, just a minute. Let seriously. me step in here. Please, one second, Sanju Varma, let me come in with a fact. Stop peddling. Let me come in with a fact, Sanju Varma, please. Let me come in with a fact to establish this is not fake news. Very recently, Mani Shankar Ayer stepped up and said that it was actually a relative of Mr. Gandhi who was responsible for the desecration of the Babri Masjid and he named that individual. He named him. Is that mm -hmm. fake news, sir? Sanjay yeah. Jha? Now, can I ask no, no, you? I'm, no, no, I'm asking I you. Is Mani Shankar Ayer a liar? Is he part of the fake news? Is he paid by the BJP? Is Sanju Verma having called him last night and told him to say this? No, hang on, hang on. <laughs> you know, don't, 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 don't today. Don't today weasel out of this. No, no, no. Mani Shankar Ayer. Mani Shankar Ayer. No, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me quote Mani Shankar Ayer. Look. How can you even have this conversation? Viewers, viewers, And why don't you quote Mani Shankar Ayer on Prime Minister? Irrelevant suspended variety to your show. One second, one second. Let's not be personal. You cannot speak a single coherent sentence. One second, viewers. Let's just okay. Lower everyone's faders because I am reporting from the Hindu, a newspaper that is gospel for the Congress Party. He says, Mani Shankaraya, Congress not Rajiv Gandhi responsible for unlocking of Babri Masjid gates. His fealty more. Right now is not to his own party viewers, it's to a dynasty, but that's a different matter. Arun Heru behind it, says Mani Shankar Ayer. So viewers, this is Congress party leader, top leader, Gandhi family loyalist, on record, quoted in the Hindu. Here it is viewers, let's try to zoom in on this. It's right here. So I don't know what is fake news, I think Abhijit Ayer Mitra is spot on, he's well read. And he's so democratic that he even reads the Hindu viewers. There it is. Congress. There it is. So, you know, the great distinction that Mani Shankar has is that before every major election, he comes out making Mr. Modi look even better. There you go. Abhijit Ayer Mitra. 
Congress nor so, Rajiv Gandhi responsible for unlocking of the Babri Masjid gates. And I'm sure that Tosif Khan today, being a politically aware person, will not absolve the Congress of its role. I hope you will not, at least today, sir, being true to your ideological pursuit, you will at least say that this much is true. Rahul, Supreme Court has already passed the judgment. Sir, why you today? Said, now, listen. Uh, speak with the conviction. Was, uh, why speak was, uh, with conviction? Say what you believe. That the Congress had a role in abetting the demolition of the Babri Masjid. Many people from your community have said it. I can quote them. Now, if they are wrong, that is, of course, comes down to Rahul, you and your difference of opinion. Rahul, Rahul it why is did true. Why you quote Satyapal crime committed no Rahul, it is true you see it is a it is it is true that when a crime is committed the person who is in charge of the country or in charge of that particular state is responsible for it so the congress prime minister is held responsible for babri masjid demolition similarly the uh, gujarat chief minister narendra modi is held responsible for the gujarat pogrom there is no doubt about that now the question today is one second, I'll let you. I'll let you, Sanju Verma. You can counter him. Built. Why should I counter and him? Now, you counter him. You have the facts. Uh, so no, I know you no, no. Now, are well equipped. Come on. Yeah. Wait. See the question today. Today, what what Mamta Banerjee is raised a very pertinent question. She has asked this time and again that why BJP version of Ram excludes Sita. Why no, Jay no, Sri Ram? One second, one second, one second. This is, this is absolutely no, ridiculous, viewers. I don't know where we are going with this. I want to bring in Sanju Verma. One second. Sanju Verma. She has also asked. No, let she me bring in Sanju. She has also reminded the country right, that Sri Ram, Lord ah, Sri Ram, was in Maa Durga. This cannot one be moved off by the CMC goal. To kill, to I'll kill the demon. I'll come back to you. 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 One second. Sanju Verma, response. You wanted to make a point of fact. And the festival a point of fact. observed in Bengal. Mr. Khan, just, just one BJP second. Listen, one second. You're going to beat me off. I don't know what you're talking about. Lower his face. Please, let's not speak over each other. Let's not become querulous. Please. Okay, one second. Can I please? One second, Mr. Khan. One second, please. Let Sanju Verma respond to your first charge. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, Sanju Verma. Okay, I think you put yourself on mute. Sanju Verma, please unmute yourself. Please unmute yourself. Why can't we hear her? Hello? Am I audible yeah, now? Yeah, you're audible. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. A limited point is this. Supreme Court, in a you know historic judgment, I say it is one of the most pertinent judgments in the last uh, you know uh, so many decades. It said that there was no criminal conspiracy by Narendra Modi, and the word used by the Supreme Court bench was that it has given an unconditional clean chit to Prime Minister Modi, and it actually said that despite. Being given umpteen opportunities, the key petitioner Zakia Jafri, the key petitioner Zakia Jafri failed to prove anything in a court of law. And last but not the least, the Supreme Court, Court also said, Can I please finish, Rahul? What is this, Rahul? You don't Mr. allow me Mr. to interject. What is this? Yeah, yeah, okay, one second. Mr. Uh, Mr. Khan, look, either you trust the Supreme Court or you say that you don't trust it. That's up to you. I can't, I can't be. You see uh, that no, curative petition is still I can't pending. be a policeman no, no. of your biases, the sir. Curative if you have biases the which, which, which cloud your judgment to pending. an extent. The curative petition is still this pending. Is this is bizarre. This is absolutely bizarre. Yes. Yeah, make your point. Finish your point. Finish your point, Sanju Varma. Finish your point. Why is BJP against Sita? You know, I, I refuse I mean, to debate because you're not writing the debate. How ridiculous is this? How ridiculous is this? I refuse to debate like this. Sanju Varma, go ahead. Go ahead. Make your point. No, why should I go ahead when you're not able to moderate this man? He's rambling on and on and on, and you do nothing to contain him. I have. I've told him to keep quiet numerous times. Yeah. I can't, you know, so if I he's got bad manners, just, if he's he got just, bad he manners, I can't really, it. I can't, I can't, please what do it. I do? If the man please is not. Please zip it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Please zip go it. Ahead. Go ahead. Go and ahead. This is for the TMC goon. Please zip it. Okay. okay. And now I'll tell you why you're wrong. Yeah. I'll tell you why you're wrong. I don't care about which curative petition has been filed, what has been done, so on and so forth. In a historic judgment, a three-judge bench, led by the then Chief Justice, you, you, Lalit, gave an unconditional clean chit to Narendra Modi, saying he had zero role in the Godhra riots. 
and yeah. the chief justice yu yu lalit also said one very important thing zakia jafi the key petitioner has been going to every court for the last 20 years but has not given any concrete evidence in a court of law and the third most important point was which your audience should hear that tista setal ward the court said had an ulterior motive and her antecedents need to be taken cognizance of because she has not covered herself in glory and she has acted with the brazen motive to malign the then gujarat police the then gujarat yes, chief minister that, that and has the been then said. gujarat government so shut up and don't you dare okay. talk about okay now now let me tell you viewers look let me tell you it's not modi who is on trial today the congress has put actually lord ram on trial saying that he is a bjp's ram mr ayer mitra as if ram would submit himself to the agenda of some political parties first of all rahul tell me was 1971 india's victory or indira gandhi's victory because immediately after it the lady declared elections and she used it for politics immediately afterwards it was declared and it was used to get a big a bigger majority in parliament okay there will always be a political angle to everything you know for, uh, to ask a politician to keep politics out of uh, uh, anything is ridiculous but you tell me wasn't the congress that the one that said religion is private first hmm. first in the same breath sanjay jha says religion should be private but then why wasn't the president shrimati draupadi murmu not invited which one is it you can't have both you know religion can't be private and then you know uh, uh, and caste is evil and then rahul gandhi can't be proclaimed as janaudhari brahman publicly from every rooftop and then he can't demand to publicly go to a temple in assam right this simply cannot happen so at some point you know the the, the problem with the congress is they are their own worst enemy they are so confused they are so bipolar and they are so schizophrenic i don't know if bipolarity medication is available for an entire institute. well look i can only say viewers and i think i have made it quite clear at the beginning of this show it is very sad and very unfortunate when a political party suggests that god stakes sides and that devotees who have arrived from different corners of this country are worshiping a false god i think that speaks can volumes. i just come in for 20 seconds uh, yeah i mean i'm just summing up because i need to move on to the other very consequential debate which is the one where we are seeing the assam chief minister going up against <coughs> mr rahul gandhi in assam i think that also needs to be debated so i'm really tripping into eating into the time for the other debates anju varma so let me move on i just want to quickly conclude by saying that nothing could be further from the truth the devotees have talked about the sacrifices that they made to be in ayodhya why, and the deeply spiritual why, motivations yeah. that drew them here uh, you see uh, i think it's better that uh, you don't comment on other people's especially other denominations religious and ritual practices sir. Sir, just I like you don't like no i'm lowering your fader i'm lowering your fader i'm lowering your fader because sir you're overlooking a very important fact that the pran pratishtha was of ram lalla a 5 year old i think anyone who has read the ramayan would know that lord ram was much older when he met devi sita we all know this so the pran pratishtha is of a child idol if someone had some brains they would have assessed that and not made <coughs> a travesty out of the facts i need to move on viewers because there's been another very consequential development 